Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Ahmed Reda Sekat, and I will present you uh, a support for high efficiency image format that uh, we made in GPAC. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, my name is Ahmed Reda Sekat. I work on the GPAC team, and uh, I will present you uh, uh, support for high efficiency image format in, uh, in GPAC. So, uh, as usual, for those who don't know GPAC, GPAC is a, a multimedia um, uh, framework, a multi-platform multimedia framework. Is it's uh, under the LGPL license and it's hosted on GitHub. Uh, basically, we have two sets of tools: uh, MP4 Box, which you may know, it's a worldwide reference for MP4 file manipulations, and uh, the second uh, uh, tool it's MP4 Client, which is a player. It's a a bit more than a simple video uh, audio player. It's uh, halfway between a player and a browser. And uh, here is uh, the uh, presentation that we made uh, before here in uh, FOSDEM last year. <coughs> so what is HIF? HIF is a new image uh, container format. It's derived from ISO BMFF and with uh, some image-specific constructs, boxes. And it may contain individual images or uh, image sequences, uh, like bursts, or image uh, metadata. Uh, it's uh, codec agnostic, uh, originally designed for each EVC, still picture, and uh, official officially supports EVC still, and uh, JPEG. It may, we have uh, like a lot of uh, nice features, like image uh, transformations, uh, for example, rotation mirror or grid overlays. There is also additional image uh, plans like alpha masks. Uh, we can add uh, thumbnails, cover images, or hidden images. Uh, it's, you can uh, also uh, do uh, uh, codec optimizations. And uh, we have uh, pro progressive uh, refinement also. So uh, the design of uh, HIF container is based on the ISO BMFF uh, construct which is uh, supported on uh, GPAC. So for a single image, it's, uh, it you can uh, uh, store it uh, as an item in the meta box. And uh, they may, uh, you, can it's also you can also uh, share properties like uh, transformation rules and uh, data, like uh, parameters set and uh, tile, the tile data with other images. Uh, you can also store uh, image sequences uh, as a usual track, is usual is a BMFF track, w but with the new handled uh, type called picked. Here we have the different uh, brands and uh, file extensions. There is a lot of uh, brands. For example, we have HEIC for one uh, picture and HEVC for a, uh, a, a sequence of pictures. And they uh, both uh, support each uh, EVC. So, why would you use the uh, HIF? Uh, in terms of coding, it's uh, two type better. Uh, you have it's two type better compression than JPEG when it used each EVC, and it allows the partitioning of a picture into tiles. Uh, we have also multiple image in the same file. It's efficient in terms of uh, storage of image bursts and each, each uh, GR images. It keeps links between a master image and uh, its derived version. And uh, it's ex ex extensible format. You can add your own uh, codec if needed and uh, not restricted just to images. You have the possibility to include other uh, med media type like texts and uh, audio. <coughs> So here we have uh, some commands that you can use to generate and to extract using MP4 box. So the first command uh, will take the first picture, first image of the each EVC file and uh, create a meta box and add one image item, make it a primary item and add the each EIC brand to the output file. The second command will do the same thing, but with the for the next ID airframe after the given time and add the HEIX brand. And the last one uh, will take the tile 
tiled each EVC stream and generate one item per, uh, per tile and one item for the whole, uh, for the entire uh, image. So uh, thank you, and uh, if you have, if you need uh, any other information, you can refer to these links. And uh, thank you. Is there any question? Yes, I'm coming. Um, what I wanted to ask if, are you happy with the format? Do you think it was something that we all waited for? Well, I, I'm an FFmpeg developer and we have like, let's say, four or five different samples. And there was a patch and the patch was really huge. I mean, it was far too big for a patch that just supports a new container, that just supports a variant of an existing container format. Yeah? And the patch doesn't work on the actual sample files we have. So apparently this format is so, so much more complex than anything we have seen so far. And this includes MXF. That, that I wonder now, why was that necessary? Or maybe I don't understand it, so perhaps you can, can explain it. I don't have a specific explanation, but I just uh, know that there is uh, like a lot of advantages like you can use, and okay. uh, that's why we implement it in uh, GPAC, and that's why uh, uh, we added the support in GPAC. So. Okay, and so your player, so um, MP4 client, can actually s uh, yeah. uh, display uh, H, um, a a HEIF uh, images. Yeah, yeah, we have uh, uh, a support for uh, in the MP4 uh, client. Yeah, but we still improve it, proving it. immediately able to support it and nobody is actually working at it so as far as I know and the reason is basically that it seems surprisingly complex for an image format. You can say that, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Thank you. Another question? was not that difficult. Okay. Last chance for another question. No. Okay, thank you, Ahmed. Thank you.